beauties what is up it's your girl Marini Giz. I'm back I decided to head out to the Aurora Mall with my favorite girl in the back yes I want to see what kind of uh, sales they have but anyway I'll keep y'all updated once I find what I'm looking for all right bye okay so now we are at Charlie's well at the marketplace we're eating What I have. I should have got some ketchup. What's up, y'all? So I'm sitting in the middle of the bed. Yes, I am. And I'm about to smash this here jerk chicken. It's the rice and chicken, mac and cheese with some sweet potatoes. Yes, I'll let you I'll let you guys know how it tastes. I didn't want to come on camera because I'm looking a little busted. It's been a long day. Me and my mother hit the streets for real, for real. And your girl is tired. So I will come back or I'll leave it on the screen if it's a hit or miss. All right, talk to y'all. Bye. Hey guys, what is up? I am back. I just washed my hair, blow dried it, and I'm about to fly iron it. So we gonna get started. I sprayed just a little bit of this heat protected in my hand, not um, just a little bit in my hand, not a lot. And I'm gonna use this this Marcel wax, just a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want my hair to look greasy. But I still wanted to have a bounce, you know, body. So that's what I am about to do. Now I need to find my rat tail comb. It's somewhere around here, girl. Okay, here it is. Yes. So, I'm thinking maybe I should put the part on this side. Because I'm always having it on this side. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to sit here and watch some spiritual teaching. And the person that I've been watching a lot, her name is Prophetess Miranda. She's here on YouTube. I love her ministry. It is it's called healing and deliverance I think it's called let's see Nabi healing center I found her while watching YouTube no one suggested her to me or anything so right now what is this one that I'm watching it's called loose the lust yep so that is who I am watching today so while I do my hair I just watch it on my phone or my laptop and yeah, so I'm gonna put some music to the background and you just see me curl my hair. I am natural. I colored my hair about, I wanna say two weeks ago. Yeah, so I don't know if this is where the part is gonna end up, but we shall see. I don't want like, I don't want a straight part. Let's see. Look at that, my comb. this one side and this is how it looks now I gotta finish girl the rest and take some time girl that's what I only do but I do wash my hair like once a week because it sweats and stuff like that and it start reverting back to the natural state but 
see even with this Marcel Core Wax, if you just use a little, you still have bounce, you still have that shine. It's not um, way down or anything. So let me hit this back part. Okay, I said I was gonna not come back until I finish, but I just finished half of the head and this is how it ended up looking up with my, my robe girl. I'll be at home with just chilling, but this is how it came out. Okay, y'all, so I am finished with my hair. This is the style. It is growing to my, it's growing, it's growing. So I put the part on this side instead of this side, so it looks cool. is it y'all okay y'all so um the video hold on one second why the look okay y'all the video looks looking a little grainy but this is my burger i have some chick-fil-a sauce and harold's sauce mouth sauce on my fries and my burger i just have lettuce and meal because it's already it already has cheese in it Okay, let me go eat. Talk to y'all. Bye. What's up, y'all? I had to come back to Jules and pick up my ice cream and some other stuff. Oh, here it is. Oh, this say two to eight. Yeah, we gonna get two. Oh, girl, let me try to sneak. You know what? I don't like that uh, peanut. I better not get the Snickers. I get the um, it's my sweet tooth and getting some cereal and some orange juice for the, the kid. And one of the managers at work was telling me to try to eat because I like the Garrett. She said it's better than Garrett. So we're going to try it. And if it's nasty, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to tell her she's going to give me my money back. Let me see if they got the toothpaste. Like, um, the one that said, where is that? Is that, uh, I don't see it. But they have the toothpaste that say antibacterial. They don't have it here, so I'm gonna have to go to CVS. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, they do have it. And they're on sale for $4.99. We got two. What else? I need Osco customer to the case, please. Osco customer to the case, please. Five dollars. That's nine. That's crazy. That's not. I can't believe this. What's up, my beauties? Your girl is back. It's been a couple of hours. Well, it's been a bunch of hours later, girl. I know my hair done got flat and everything. But um, I went to Bible study and I, my little routine where I go to Jewels or I stop. I don't always stop at the store, but this time I figured I would because my son wanted some orange juice. So I got him some and I went back and got my popcorn. They didn't have the, the one that was um, mixed. Yeah, why my hair cut off? Hold on. Okay, that's a little bit better. Y'all a little upset, but that's okay. Um, they didn't have the one that was mixed, so I ended up getting a cheese and a caramel, and I wanna try this. I wanna try this. I just washed my hands. I'm gonna try this for y'all on camera. You gotta mix this popcorn up. Bless this food. I'm about to receive Jesus and my friend man. bit better but I still love berries mm. I'm gonna get a little ghetto I have off the clothes last 
because I like to hang stuff up when I wash. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, so I picked up my baby from orange juice so he can drink in the morning before he goes to school. Got to eat Tropicana. These like, I buy the same old thing. You know, like just milk and whatnot. Lactate, that's all we drink. But the way he go through that lactate, I might end up starting to get him some whole milk. And some, no need to serve Skippy Natural peanut butter. I got some cotton candy. I got some cotton candy grapes. Let me wash three off. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they look. I like my grapes to look tight. I'm gonna make my son dry. Mm. So, so good. I'm about to taste. So fresh. I bought another journal. I had to get this because it had bling bling on the front. Can y'all see that? Bling bling. It's pink. I usually write down like stuff. And then I got a G2 pen, and this one is a inner gel. I like pens, girl. I don't know why, but I like notebooks, journals, stuff, pens. I don't like the I don't like the, the kind of journals where you put the stickers and all that. I ain't, I ain't into that, but I just like to write. They had these uh, cereal, I think, for 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 something. So he wanted some cinnamon toast crunch. So I got him all this. That was another one. And I wanted to try this. We got our we got our Twix ice cream bars. Woo woo! Some dish soap. Lastly, some Arizona bread. My favorite. And I do like the artisan style bread from Lewis. That's pretty good. I like that when I'm making sandwiches, like cold cut sandwiches. And some eggs. So let me go do the dishes really quick and I have something I want to show y'all. You know, I always get my, my fruit, my pineapples and watermelon. They go through this like in a day or two. Let me tell y'all another pet peeve of mine. I hate when I go to the store and people tie my bag in a knot. And that drives me bananas. Who told you to tie my bag in a knot? Especially when you go get Chinese food. Why do they tie your bag in a knot, girl? Don't be doing that. That's just, I don't know. Pray for me, girl. But this is the watermelon. I don't like my bags tied in a knot. Let me do it. Girl, I'm going to Jules more and more. I'm turning it into my mother. My mother and my husband, because I was that girl that just didn't go to Jewels so because I'm like, I only go to Jewels when I have to go. Because it's so hot. The stuff is so hot. But they got good quality products at Jewels. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They have the caramel and the cheese and I just mixed it together. But this right here, oh girl, wait till I finish doing this. Cause I already ate, so that's gonna be my snack for tonight. Yeah. All right, hey beautiful people, I'm back. I'm in my room. I hope it's enough lighting because um, I don't have my ring light. My ring light is downstairs. So I am back. I wanted to share with you all really quick when I went to Aurora Mall. What I picked up, I picked up my son some shoes. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm going to show you what I picked up from Nike I went to Nike I did good because they had a little sale on some t-shirts so I picked up two this is the first one it says just <clears throat> it reads just do it 
and I thought this would be cute with some nice little black leggings the next shirt because they were like two for 30 and I needed some t-shirts because this is basically the only t-shirt I have that I could just you know chill in then I have this which reads just do it it's in a large I love the color it's bright it has pink in it and it's just so me yep that was $30 how much $32.48 I went to the cosmetic company what, is, what do they call this because I used to go there years ago and I stopped in there the cosmetic company store they had a sale buy two get something for free so I picked up this brush from Aveda I have one already which I love it's kind of like a busted brush I have one already so I got another one and I used to like blow dry my hair with this I really do like this brush I wrap my hair um, with it it's a good brush but mine didn't have this on the back which says Philip Liam yeah mine didn't say that so I got this and I picked up some liquid lipstick from Too Faced. Here's one. It's called Melted Matte. It's the liquefied matte longwear lipstick. I don't know why the girl was trying to talk me out of not buying this. She was like, no, it's a liquid lipstick. You know. And I'm like, I want to try it. Because I have enough MAC. And that's what they sell at uh, the company. What is it called? the cosmetic company store i have enough mac so i want to try this which i already have probably in my drawer but i don't have this shade the name of this one is called child star and this is like a pretty nude i'll swatch that for you and i also got the Too Faced melted matte i watch from time to time from time to time i watch she is fab and she always rave about this liquid lipstick it looks really pretty on her so when i went into the cosmetic store and i seen this brush i was it dawned on me i was like when i seen Too Faced, and i was like i started looking at the Too Faced liquid lipsticks i was looking at the lip glosses but i didn't want the lip glosses because i don't know if they were on sale or not but these were and i got one for free and i got one for free she is fab always rave about the liquid lipstick and it looks really good on her so i wanted to try it out it's like a kind of like a pink fuchsia i wore to work it's really really bright but it's cute and then they threw in a joe malone wild blueberry clone i'm not really a fan of joe malone i'm glad i didn't get down i didn't i'm glad i didn't waste my money in purchasing I just don't like it. This smells like a sidewalk or something. Oh. But anyway, that's all I bought from the cosmetic company. Then I went to Zara. Oh, wait. This another item that I bought from... Uh, where did I go? It was it Nike? No, it wasn't Nike. It was one of those gym shoe stores. I can't remember, girl. Maybe the receipt in here. Yeah, it is my son wanted these from finish line they were they're called the air prestos they were 110 he likes these shoes so i ended up getting him them he already wore them to school but i wanted to show it for the video he got a big feet mm -hmm. <laughs> my teenage son my high schooler yes so that is what i ended up getting and let's move on to Zara, baby. I don't like my hair parted on this side for some reason. Am I tripping? I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling the part. But we're going to get through this video. So, from Joe Malone. <clears throat> I picked up a fragrance. This is called Velvet Shadow. Into the Gourmand. Audi perfume I don't know who it's duping or what is duping I don't know the dupe but I know I got the small bottle I'm glad I did it's 15 15 it kind of smells like Killian no it kind of smells like it 
it kind of smells like floral marshmallow it has that marshmallowy scent to it and it just has a zara on it and velvet shadow it's a small bottle for those of you all who are interested in this yeah is it one ounce girl i can't even see that i can't see the right but i like it it smells good would i repurchase it i don't think so because it reminds me of the floor marshmallow from darcier which is my favorite and i just use this as a layering perfume especially when i'm wearing something kind of like floral and i don't want it to be too overpowering but i want to add a little bit of balance to it so that's why i ended up getting that i know i'm long-winded oh i bought this from my friend julia has a gun not a perfume this is like one of my old favorites i love this perfume it smells so good i love the way it sprays mm, it smells really really good and she had it in her purse i was like girl if you don't let me buy it and i, I kind of like talked her into selling it to me for a little nothing so yeah i had um got it from her it's a full bottle she had just bought it she don't need it that's my favorite that was my signature okay so back to zara so I went to Zara to pick up this cute little um, work shirt, it's blue and white. I saw this girl with some jeans on and she had like one part tucked in and the other one out and she had on her little uh, like camel, her camel sandal. She looked so cute and like fresh in here. So imagine this shirt, spray a little bit of this Julia has a gun on which is silver jewelry and you just looking cute i thought this was really cute so i might wear this i don't know when but then we have this blouse i didn't even try it on i tried on the pants they were too small i wish i could show you hopefully i can upload a picture of how it looks they're sending me the pants in a extra large hopefully it fits because um uh, they had a medium and i definitely couldn't get in the medium so i was like if i get if i can't get in the medium i know the large would probably be a little tight so that's why i opted for the extra large hopefully the outfit looks cute girl it is like 70 degrees here in chicago it's like the weather is changing and this is a really cute top i didn't even try it on but i love the color and they have the bottoms to go with it the bottoms are really cute i hope it fits me good but the uh top was $27.99 and I think the bottoms were $27.99 but they were on sale because this was $49.90 yeah go figure so hopefully I can't uh I'm not gonna wear it until I get the matching bottoms then I seen this cute dress and I had to have it this real cute little baby doll dress looks good and it was $27.90 as well. It was on sale. So I treated myself. I really did. And I got this one. I didn't try it on. Didn't feel like one in a um, dressing room. There was another pair of pants that I, I uh, purchased that are trousers. They're like a pink. You guys can see it because I'll show you guys. And I also uh, picked up some gym shoes from Zara that they have to ship to me, which I thought was oh god I hit my head which i thought was cute hopefully they look good as well i hate waiting on stuff and i think it their shipping is kind of slow in my opinion so i gotta wait a week hopefully they said it shipped off so maybe i'll get it early let's see what's today i think they said i'll get it friday yeah so this right here is girl i don't know what this is but this is like a long dress for cool weather yeah it's in a medium i kind of thought that this was like a turtleneck but it's not but it's like one of those long kind of like it's not even a sweater dress but it's gray they had them in two other colors i'm gonna see how this look on me because if it looks homely it's definitely gonna go back it was only 35 bucks and i got it got it in a medium so let's see let's see the the next item me and my mama we went to macy's they got some cute little bag cute little bag now macy's and we were just shopping i was in 
where was I at? I was in Zara, she was at Macy's. And when I met her back over at Macy's, I found some shoes on clearance, girl, some Sorrells. And mind you, I had just purchased some cream colored shoes from Zara that's kind of similar to this, but a little bit more bulky. And when I seen these at uh, Macy's, they're Sorrells, I thought these were so cute. I had to get them. I did. I did. I did. I ain't spent all my money. I promise you I didn't. I say some, I give some, I spend some, and I put some away again. Yes. We have they have a series at my church that my pastor is preaching on uh what is it called? Something about a poverty mindset. Hold on. She has a series on breaking the spirit of poverty and she kind of like breaks it down with people spending and stuff like that. And yeah, definitely come down my road because to be honest with you, um, I'm, to be honest with you, I always try to shop on a budget. I know it's a lot of things I don't need and whatnot, but uh, I feel like I can do better. I can't lie. I am not the type of person that goes in like where I'm just grateful that I'm able to buy something you know how I just feel that I can do better with spend my spending habits and whatnot um, I don't need a lot of things but I like a lot of things and you know my eyes are like ooh. and I guess you know growing up I have a mother who especially my grandmother she was just like if you got it and you want it get it my grandmother always told me and I told you guys this yeah so my grandmother always was like and I know I'm long-winded tonight I feel real good but my grandmother always like when we went shopping it was just like me and her she would always say girl you better get it because if you come back it's gonna be gone and you're gonna be thinking about it while you laying up in your bed you know she would always say get what you want and my grandmother always kept money so I try not to spend all my money trust and believe I always keep a savings and uh, spend some give some I pay my tithes and my offering and all that stuff faithfully my mother always shop 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 but she's at the point now she only get you know what she needs but I know she be still shopping every now and then uh you know i just i'm thankful because i'm not the one that calls people begging for money or something like that i think it, when it gets to that point i think you need to like kind of reassess yourself and whatnot or if you're robbing peter to pay paul or if you're living paycheck to paycheck i think you need to you know like reassess because i believe that here i go brandy here i go <laughs> I just believe that when you get into that kind of a situation and and I'm not here to knock anybody because we all been through well some of most of us you know we all been through financial difficulties we needed to borrow some money here and there from some people or our parents or whatever the case may be I'm sure we all had to borrow some money and I just wanted to get to a place where if I borrow some money from you that's because my car didn't work or it wasn't right and I was able to sell you some money but I don't want to get into um, a situation where I just have to borrow money and some people you know like the Bible say you can't be lending out money that you can't afford to give because sometimes people don't pay you back so you got to be wise and, and you know but I don't mind giving to people who I know that are in need I don't like giving to people who you know they just jack off their money excuse my french they just like blow their money just because or it's like mm -mm. so with that being said back to these shoes um yeah she has a good series i i'm gonna be listening and learning because i could use some kind of help i want to get to a place where i have no debt and I'm not like when I purchase this stuff I'm spending cash you know when you see me spending I'm spending cash so that is a blessing the only time that I didn't I think maybe in the last two weeks when I opened that Sam's Club card girl 
and that's going to be paid off so i want to get to a place where everything is paid off in full and i'm just living in the overflow okay all right but anyway these shoes are so cute i love these they look so cute and i buy surreal and i don't always buy gym shoes i used to when i was younger i was like a gym shoe fanatic but girl when you get older stuff start changing in your life you know what i'm saying your priorities and all of that good stuff so um i bought these to wear like if i'm going somewhere like maybe bible study you know and i i wear a cute little um some cute little jeans or maybe a cute little leggings covering my rump but yeah these are cute girl i like these these are nice to wear if you're going shopping and that is about it guys so that will complete this here haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i will probably try on the pieces for you so you can see how they look i can't show you how the pants because i don't have the pants but everything else i do have i don't have i'm waiting on two pair of pants and some shoes so when i get that in you will definitely see it let me see let me see let me see oh yeah so let's do this okay girl so this is the blouse i don't know what size i got it in let me see i think it's an extra large i should have got it in a large because i kind of like the fitted look but then again i might wear like a little crop sweater over it or like my jean uh vest that i purchased from zara a while ago but i thought these were cute and i've seen her like tuck in the pants let's see she had it like kind of like tucked like so like that but her belt was showing so it was something like this yeah this would be really cute to wear like to work or wherever the case may be but i like it let's try it okay this blouse is really cute i'm glad that i got it in a medium i can't wait for the pants i hope the pants look good and i hope like yeah it's not too cropped or anything but it's, it's the perfect fit i like it i like how the sleeves are made and it's really really a comfortable material yeah so just imagine the pants i think the pants have like pockets on the back but hopefully I inserted a picture of the model. The model doesn't do the outfit any justice, but this is a cute outfit to wear. I like this as well. It's kind of like on the short side. I wish it was like hitting my knees, if you can see that. And it goes all the way down, buttons all the way down. It's really cute. Um, you can, it's kind of short in my opinion. So I'll probably end up wearing like some cute little cropped pants with it or some leggings, something, or maybe, I don't know, some shorts, I don't know, but I thought this was cute and I couldn't resist this because of the colors. I love the green. It's really pretty. Yes. Okay, now this is the gray dress. I didn't think I would like it. I thought it was gonna be kind of big on me. But it's not. Let me show y'all. And it's like a fitted dress. And I thought it was kind of sleeveless. But this is really cute. I can probably get away with it. Yeah. It's really cute. I will end up wearing this probably. I will end up wearing this to church. But I would probably put on like um, something underneath. Because of the opening right here I'll probably or I may wear like a jean jacket my stomach is short let me see I'm trying to show you how far it goes bless you boo I'm trying to show you how far it goes down let me suck my let me suck my stomach in but yeah this is the dress and it's cute it's cute and bangs okay guys so I am back really quick to share with you all the lipstick the liquid lipsticks and how they look so Okay. 
I'm gonna put on a brown liner. Okay, then we're gonna try this on. I hope it's pretty. Oh yeah, it'll work. Just with these kind of lipsticks, you do need a liner. Kind of blend it in before it dries up. Okay, this one is kind of it's kind of loud. This one is really pretty. I think it'll look really even. I this one's cute. I think it'll even look better once I um, put on some makeup. Like have a real nice bold eye. I like this. This one is called Chow Star. I'm gonna go in with. What color is this? Oh no, that's a brown. I need... oh. And put a little brown. I don't like it by itself. The uh color. So I blend out the uh lip liner. And then we're gonna put the Okay. And this one is called It's Happening. It's real bold. My hair looks dry right there. Put some bio soap on there. Yeah, it's like a bold um pink. But one thing about it, girl, it will stain your lips for real. And I don't like that when it stains your lips. I don't like It'll go where I wanted to go once I um once I um <laughs> my hair look like a wig right about now. Let me see. I don't know, I just love part. Just love the part. Let me see on this side. Trusty dusty flat irons and see if that works. I don't know. I didn't like that that other side part. Or is this part too deep? It don't look like it's too deep. It'll work. I just need to um, flat iron it.
Hey girl, this is how I usually wear my um my hair. That is it. I'm out of here. Peace.